few things. I felt cute in this shirt today, so I figured I would film something. Um, I I keep feeling like I really want to journal more lately, but I never find the time to like actually do it. But I've been getting the sort of brain clearing mental release of journaling by posting rants on Instagram stories. If you follow me there at gachi underscore, you'll have seen uh, what I was up to on Saturday, the day before Mother's Day, last week. And um, I just kind of wanted to talk about Mother's Day because it went pretty well, all things considered, and I just thought I would process. So this wasn't my first Mother's Day. Last year I was pregnant and I was already a mother, thank you very much. Um, last year was uh, the weekend of our baby shower. I think the shower was on Saturday and then Mother's Day was on Sunday. And I honestly cannot remember what we did. Um, must have gone out to breakfast or something because my mom was in town for the shower. I, I think maybe, maybe we went out to dinner that night. I honestly can't remember. Um, my mom watches these videos. If she remembers, she can comment below. Uh, but this year was like my first Mother's Day with like, you know, Earthside. And uh, it, it went pretty well. I was pretty happy with it. It was like super low key and I liked that. Um, so Saturday, uh, my husband's been working so hard, so grateful. Uh, he's working on the backyard. We're gonna put in grass because um, the baby will turn one in July. She'll just be learning how to walk and I really wanna have some grass for her to run around on and you know, have fun out there. Uh, spend some time out there as like a family and stuff. Our backyard has been a mess of just weeds and dirt since we bought the house a year ago. Um, and we're finally, finally putting in grass. So excited about that. So Gina was outside digging trenches, uh, filling trenches all morning on Saturday. Um, and so while he's out there doing all of that, I, you know, I'm on baby duty inside, so that's fine. I um, was working on the podcast that I do for myhogwarts.com. Um, I do an episode every three months, and so it's not a lot. But basically, I just dedicate one week to just getting that done. And I got most of that done on Saturday uh, while the baby was napping. So she she took three naps that day because they were pretty short. Um, she usually gets two naps a day unless they're short, crappy naps, in which case she will get an extra one in there. Uh, so during those naps, I got the... Uh, podcast work done and then while she was awake we just played and crawled around on the floor folded the laundry it was actually super cute so she woke up from her nap and um, her window looks out to the backyard so I opened the curtains I pulled down the blinds so she could see what her daddy was doing um, I opened the window so he could hear her and talk to her and it was really cute she wanted to watch him so I like I was gonna start folding laundry so I go to set her down on the floor to crawl around and play with her toys and she starts fussing she wants to look out the window so I grabbed her high chair and I put it by the window and she sat there and she supervised him while I stuffed the diapers and it was super cute um, so I got all the podcast stuff done so that's one thing that was checked off the list that was good important the other thing I got my video for Sunday edited I, I feel good about stuff if I can get stuff done I feel good about my day um, I also needed to do grading for my Hogwarts. So I got those three things done on Saturday, which was my goal. Um, so that I could have Sunday not worried about anything and just be able to enjoy the day. Um, Cause like hanging out with family is great. Um, if it's your in-laws and you feel like there's something you'd rather be doing, then it can be a little bit like, I don't know, stressful or unpleasant, but like I wanted to be able to be there present fully and enjoy it. Um, so I wanted everything done. So I did it. Great. In the afternoon, I also wanted to go grocery shopping because we didn't really have a lot of food in the house and I wanted to do some meal prep, meal planning at least. So, uh, Gino finished up in the backyard, you know, got to a point where he was happy with what he was doing and was like, okay, I'm going to be inside now. I'll keep an eye on the baby. You go do the errands. So one thing I wanted to get um, swim trunks, swim shorts for me because I don't wax. I never have and I don't think I ever will. Um, and so I just need something to cover up my bottom half. Um, and my board shorts that I wore pre-baby don't fit me anymore. So I need to get new ones. 
and so I went to Target and that's where the whole rant on Insta stories if you saw that it was just I don't know something about that experience there was just too many people there I couldn't find what I needed I was trying to Google things on my phone and wander around the store looking for something at the same time and it was frustrating and I you ever do that where you just feel like you're not there I had this RBF and I was wandering around half in my phone, half like getting lost in the store. I was trying to find ivory soap. No, Irish spring. I was trying to find Irish spring soap for my husband. And I'm like wandering the aisles of Target, finding all of these fancy upscale vegan products. I mean, not, they weren't, but they, Target has all these fancy brands and none of the like basics. You would think that a store like Target would have Irish spring just on the shelf. But they did not. And I had no way of knowing that until I finally looked it up on their website while wandering the store, not watching where I'm going. And it's like, yeah, it's not in stock at your local store. Great. Anyway, I was going to the grocery store, so it was fine. But if I had known that it wasn't there, I wouldn't have spent all that time looking for it. On the positive side, tangent, I found Target brand uh, toothbrush heads for my Sonicare. They're like, six bucks cheaper uh, for the three pack and um, I am ashamed to even think about how long it's been since I replaced my Sonicare brush head way too long and I think it was starting to get like corroded or something there was definitely brown goop I cleaned it like the inside where it connects I cleaned it out I replaced the brush head and suddenly it's like three, four times as powerful as before. I was starting to think like, oh, this Sonicare is not really all that. Um, you know, used, I thought it used to be good, but I guess it's not really that great because I feel like I get more clean when I use a manual. Well, it's because I hadn't replaced it in forever and the contacts are just not great at all. And instead of having to push really hard against my teeth at this, you know, now suddenly I've got all the power and my teeth have never been so clean. Where was I? Uh, we, I, finally ran out of my breast milk stash because baby drinks way more at the babysitter than I can pump when I'm at work. I think it's a combination of things. It's just a combination of maybe the babysitter offers milk more often than I offer nursing when I'm with her or maybe she asks for it more when she's there maybe she drinks faster when she's away from me um, it's probably also that the pump isn't as efficient as she is and so basically I have finally run out of uh, breast milk in the freezer and so I got some formula I've never used formula I don't know what I'm doing I have no idea if she's gonna like it I'm on my way to pick her up right now to find out if she drank any of it and what she thinks um, but that my plan is just to send the formula. I'll send whatever I pumped the day before and the formula. And so she can have whatever breast milk I make. But if she wants more than that, she's going to have to drink formula. And if she doesn't like it, then she can just not drink it. And that's fine. By the time she turns a year old, the plan is to start sending dairy milk. And then I can stop pumping at work and just nurse her in the morning and at bedtime. And this is the dream. Another month and a half, I can make it. Um, so at Target, they don't treat you like a criminal for trying to feed your baby. Um, the formula is just on the shelf, and you don't have to like get an employee to unlock anything. Which I just did not feel like dealing with that. I didn't feel like dealing with employees even to try on the swim shorts. I purchased a pair of boys' swim trunks, size 18. I kind of held it up to my waist in an inconspicuous part of the store, trying to think, eh, might this fit? And they fit. They fit okay. Um, the Velcro doesn't really want to stay put when I sit, but whatever. They were comfortable enough, and they did the job, because they don't sell swim shorts for, they only had like bikinis, all of one style. It is a limited target, but you would think they would at least have a couple, there were no one-piece swimsuits even. It's weird. I don't get it. I don't get it. You know, I guess this is just another reason why I'm not a huge fan of, of like the beach and stuff. Anyway, so that was the night and it was like uh, uh, frustrating 
stressful trip to Target. Then I went to the grocery store, I put myself in a better frame of mind, I forced myself to breathe a little bit and relax, and I found everything I needed at the store, so that was fine. Um, and got out of there, you know, did the thing. They had uh, Irish Spring at the grocery store, and I think the fact that it's only like three bucks for eight bars is the reason that they don't stock it at Target, because they feel like their shelf space is too valuable for them. Anyway, on the way home, I stopped at a new coffee shop that opened up uh, on our, you know, down the street and got an horchata frap. So that was tasty. And then um, Gino's uncle and parents came over bringing beer to share and a new um, altar table as an anniversary gift, respectively. We've had this like cheap old like set of drawers that they were hand-me-downs from them. Um, near our door is like our altar table where we have like our, our nice Bible set up and a couple different like statues and books and things. Just sort of anything sort of religious artifacts kind of go up there um, to sort of be a center space. And I like that it's right by the door. It kind of reminds you when you walk in like, hey, this is this house belongs to God. Um, but the drawers, it was just a crummy, it was kind of dinged up, cheap looking. Um, and so this is a, a nice piece that they got from Pier 1. It's really nice and I think it looks good and it matches our couch pretty nice, I think. Yeah. And um, I'm really grateful. Our anniversary is Tuesday. So I'm filming this on Monday, but it's going up obviously almost a week later. So I'm everything I'm saying from the past. Um, but our anniversary is tomorrow. And so they got us a gift, which is super sweet. And that made my day. And then they were all there so they could keep an eye on the baby so that I could take the shower that I'd been to be taking since like Thursday night and hadn't gotten around to. Um, so that was very nice. I shaved everything because, well, I shaved my underarms and my legs because I hadn't in a while. And because we were planning on Sunday to go over to my, my husband's other uncle's house uh, and they have a pool. And I had gotten Agnes a swim diaper and we we're gonna try to go in the pool with her and see what she said. And so we went over there, they made steak. Um, and it's really funny because a lot of family members are, they think that baby led weaning is like terrifying. And every time we hand Agnes anything, especially meat, they freak out. But for whatever reason, this uncle who had, whose house we went to thinks it's awesome and like totally gets it. Um, and so he handed her this chunk of, like he cut it perfectly, it was like an inch wide, inch thick, and like three or four inches long of T-bone. No bone, the, the meat. And she demolished the whole thing. Um, and then later, because we just, we gave her a little bit of like dinner of the same food before we left, because she was getting tired. Um, and he gave her a piece that was even bigger, and it was just super cute to see her gnaw on the meat. She's had a couple of top teeth come in, so she's been doing really well with the thing where you grab it and pull on it. I don't know where she got that, honestly, how she learned to do that, because I don't, I usually use a knife when I eat, so I don't know, <laughs> but uh, it's pretty clever and I'm so proud of her. Okay. Yeah, and she went swimming and um, she enjoyed it. It was chilly and she started shivering after a little bit, but she never complained. She looked like she was having so much fun, just splashing around. You know, pulling her through the water a little bit. We signed her up for swim lessons in July and August. Um, I kind of wanted to wait till after she was a year old because I don't know, that's what the AAP recommends. So, go with that. Um, so, that'll be fun. And I'm glad that she's not like terrified because I could just picture her being just terrified. And unfortunately, that is not the case. So, I'm very excited for that. All in all, uh, it was a good. Mother's Day. I also, I, apparently it's an unpopular opinion, but I really liked Game of Thrones episode 5. Um, I thought that it was dramatic and heartbreaking and um, in all the good ways. I'm not going to spoil anything because I know some people are still catching up. So I don't know. I, I wasn't really surprised um, in a way that I thought was against the story arc. Some people are saying that they think that out of character certain actions and I don't think so. I think that if you're surprised it's because you're supposed to be uh, so that you can feel the way the characters feel. All right that I think I avoided spoilers right? Yeah so this is this is just me talking, um, journaling, right? Video logging. There should be a word for that. 
thanks for watching. I apologize for the lighting. I'm trying to sort of stay out of the sun because, you know, it gets hot in here without the AC on. So I'm going to stop now so that I can turn it back on. Um, and I will see you guys in the next video on Thursday. So subscribe so you don't miss that. If you are the sort of person who rings a bell, I would encourage you to consider ringing the bell um, if that's the sort of thing that you want to do. Like I said, me personally, I don't ring bells, but it is there if you want to. Alright, love you guys, and we'll see you in the next one. Thank you.